Hi everyone, <clears throat> um, I'm hoping you can hear me. Um, you can probably tell that I'm not um, particularly well. Um, I have a bit of a sore throat, cold, um, and therefore I'm sounding croaky. Um, my husband called it sexy, but there we go. We won't say any more about that. Um, and um, I do hope you can understand what I am saying and hear me. Um, it's not COVID or anything. I've taken a test. It purely is seasonal with me, I'm afraid. Um, as soon as the weather starts to change from warm to um, the autumnal temperatures, um, I'm afraid anything I get, i.e. cold-wise, goes straight to my chest. Um, and very often I'm down the surgery on the nebulizer, helping me to breathe. So my husband, um, aka Hubster, he's known as the Hubster around here, has brought me a lovely cup of tea. Um, so if I pause every now and then, it'll be because I need to just stop for a minute and take a little sip of tea. So anyway, I'm here with you today to share a little walkthrough of my latest journal. Um, and for this one, I've used my Porch Prints Sepia and Ivory collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love using kits. Often I um, use the kits to sort of complement my own journals and I will tear things out of kits, use the journal pages the way I want to use them in my journal that I'm making. But because I've been feeling a bit under the weather, I just wanted something quite um, simple but lovely to do. And I found this beautiful kit which is right up my street on my porch prints. So I'll, I will link that below if you're interested in purchasing it yourself. Um, so I've used this beautiful image as my front cover. I actually printed that off twice and stuck them together to make the front cover sort of semi-sturdy. Um, and I have bound it with a three-hole pamphlet stitch and a bit of um, lace trim going around the spine, which is stuck on, and some gold floral trim down there, which I absolutely love. I stamped the word journal onto some fabric using um, permanent ink and then mounted it and just stuck it on there. So plain, um, simple, but actually very, very effective. And just here on the tie closure, I have um, a sort of hard tab tag, sorry, with um, a dried flower on there, and just the handmade with love on the back, and the little vintage um, tag, which I will put the price on when um, I've decided how much I'd like to sell it for. And my lovely friend Lorna from Printy Punky Crafts here in Cornwall um, has all my journals in her shop um, for sale. So I'm, I'm really, really um, pleased and um, um, what's the word? Um, I'm so lucky that Lorna is able to do that for me and is willing to do that for me. So, as I said, the tie closure here, soft tie closure, it's actually with a little bit of vintage, um, is this Anglaise broidery? I don't know, but it's got stains on it. Can you see? It's actually already got stains on it. So that's a bit of um, vintage um, trim there or ribbon. Um, and it's a single signature. There we go, but I always stuff mine full and you can see the lace edges down the some of the pages there. And if we open it, so it's about a five size, I think. Um, it's approximately uh, five inches by eight inches. Yep, so about an A5. And on the inside cover here, I've made a little pocket and embellished it with this lantern image here, which is from the Fussy Cut kit that matches the Sepia and Ivory journal kit. So I purchased the journal kit along with the Fussy Cuts add-on um, and it really complements each other. And in the pocket here, I've just um, added a postcard, journal postcard, and again, stuck on um, this vase of flowers here from the add-on kit and backed it onto tea stain paper. <clears throat> and a nice, very beautiful 
blank page here for some journaling and lovely lovely image of some roses there and on the other side this side it's lined here I have um, a piece of my tea stained paper from my stash and I've just made a short belly band here stuck on an image from the fussy cut sheet um, the fussy cut kit sorry and some lace down here and then I've made a tag to go inside this is um, scrapbooking paper that's Prima scrapbooking paper and I've just collaged it up and stuck um, these books with the roses on from the fussy cut kit and some gorgeous sage green seam, seam binding there so that goes in there and then um, an image from the fussy cut kit journaling space done some little stamping here and there um, to just um, give it a little extra um, I don't know va va voom shall we say and this beautiful comfy chair look at it oh, it's gorgeous and that is from the fussy cut kit so I've stuck that out cut that out and stuck that on there and on this side is a vintage envelope um, that was coming apart so I've just taken the back portion of it and stuck it on the back here and it is actually a pocket but it's very very fragile so I haven't put anything in there and it's got the original sort of envelope um, closure there that is I think it's gummed paper that the sender has obviously li um, um, licked to hold it down that's the back of the envelope here we have two pockets which I've made using the papers um, and a journaling card here inside that one with a bit of very very vintage handwritten um, paper here and you can tell the paper is very odd because it feels almost like that watercolour paper effect um, so some lovely calligraphy handwriting on there which can be used or just left to admire <clears throat> and then I have another pocket here on the front which I've just stuck some black um, half flat backed beads on there and in this pocket I have um, a tag again with some sage seam binding and I stuck a large vase of flowers from the fussy cut kit so that is in there and because it's so stuffed full I have to press it in there we go <clears throat> and on this side we have half pocket down here again with a bit of um, collaging and embellishment and one of the journal cards from the kit backed onto my tea stain paper and again I have made another um, journaling card um, this time the back is from a vintage address book and I've just collaged it up here these birds are actually there's a whole sheet of them a whole A4 sheet in the kit so that's beautiful stuck on there and of course you can do some um, journaling on this plain page in the background this background is from the kit it's gorgeous can you see the grungy effect up here and I've just added some stamping here and there oh look you can see how the sun is shining today outside it's quite nice today very bright so I've had to close my blinds um, and I've put some lace trim down the edge there this side this is a tag that's on with the paper clip so um, you can undo the paper clip and that tag is held there and here is a belly band this is from the journal kit um, a large sort of tag on journaling card and I've just stuck it top and bottom which has made a belly band and then I've been able to slide something in there and I have one of these envelopes window envelopes um, and the journaling card is inside and I've backed the inside of the window envelope with some vintage music choral paper in there there we go here um, I actually got this idea from watching one of the flip throughs of my porch prints on their youtube channel um, where the creator had this swiveling picture here and you move it out of the way which then um, enables you to uh, get the tag out of this pocket um, I like things like that if you have seen my latest autumn journal um, you will see lots of um, hidden secret things 
where I've used some swivels and things like that. Um, if you haven't, it will be the previous video before this one. So do go and have a little look if you're interested in that. <clears throat> and a postcard here, um, which I printed off and then stuck on this lovely envelope um, from the add-on kit and postcard with some vintage tape. Now, um, I have in the past made my own vintage tape, but I saw on Instagram, and I'm really sorry because I can't remember the person's name, but I was um, watching something on Instagram and it was Game Changer and they had a picture of something similar with some tape and I was like, oh, what's that? So I, I sort of had a little read and the lady had purchased some heat tape from Amazon. So I'm assuming that if there's a flow torch or um, heat gun on this, it won't melt. It's called heat tape. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And if I just undo it a bit, it looks like, it's quite dark and coppery, isn't it, on the ring? But actually, when you look at that, and when you put it on something, it actually looks like aged tape. And she is right. Game changer. Woohoo. So I purchased some of that from Amazon. I'm in the UK. I believe the lady that I first saw it from is in the US. So I think you can get it both places. Oh, sorry. Just had a bit of a coughing fit there. So yes, heat tape. Go and check it out on Amazon. And here I have another journaling card and I've cut a bigger image out this time of that lovely comfy chair um, and left that for some journaling. <coughs> so they go in there and then we have this lovely image of this journal page here which I've just kept as is. It's beautiful isn't it? Oh, I do apologise. Um, I did think I was going to be a bit like this, but I really wanted to get this one done so that I could put it in the shop for sale. And then there's the other side. Um, again, these images are from the journal pages in the sepia and ivory kit. This lovely photograph of the gentleman here. This is some paper from my own stash. Um, and I've torn it here and made it into a pocket. And inside the pocket are these two little tags and they are ready to, to be journaled on and they just go in there that's the other side of that um, paper from my stash vintage music paper and a vintage invoice this is from the ministry of agricultural fisheries and food and it's dated 1974 <coughs> oh, sorry in the black handwriting goes with the kit and it's nicely aged on this side here gosh i wish i could um i wish i was clever enough to know how to do these flip throughs to music i must learn how to do that because right now it would be brilliant wouldn't it um so here we go on this side what i've done is if i take this paper clip off that's just got some um sari silk on it in the sage green color what I've done is I've used the long tags that are in the kit um, and I've individually put them down. Now, they are long, so let me see if I can... There we go. And I've used one of the beautiful teacups on that side. So they flip up, so you've got one, two, and I've used the telephone cut out there, and three, the largest, largest one, and there's those books, and then the tea stain paper underneath. Um, and then you can close them up um, to um, cover your journaling if you so wish to have a bit of hidden journaling and then on this side <coughs> um, I have a pocket which I've collaged up and added some images from the fussy cut sheet and inside this pocket are some journaling um, cards and tags all from the kit I'm actually beginning to think there might have been three um three um um what am I say three lots of um kits in this one I think there is the journal pages the fussy cut kit and the add-on kit 
the add-on kit is where you get all the tags and journaling cards from here is one of those beautiful journal pages from the actual journal kit and then the fussy cut kit gives you all these little pieces here and there's actually I don't know more than 10 pages in the fussy cut kit of things that you could um, cut out and use and I've I've not even cut out like half of it there is so so much to you so I am thinking of making um, another one of these beautiful journals I love this typewriter that's my favorite page in the journal kit that's lovely these images are so beautiful aren't they you don't need to do anything so I have this one on that side one of the bird pages again and here we have the center of the journal and this um, little thing here pop out again it's not my idea I actually saw it on the original um, my porch prints flip through of their kit and the creator had done this on um, one of the the spreads which I love so it's just like a little pop out isn't it the mistake I made with mine is of course where have I done this pop out I've done it in the center when it came to binding my journal into the cover I was like oh I had this in the way so a little bit of maneuvering I was actually able to do it but it was quite tricky and it's just glued at the ends here so that when you fold it it will fold up like that and actually because it's only glued here on the ends you can actually slide um, things underneath so here is another one of those lovely long tags and these floral images are in the kit so that's the set spread <coughs> the other side of the bird page and this beautiful butterfly here you can see why they called it sepia and ivory can't you it's just gorgeous I love that one now here <coughs> I've made like a little door so you can journal here and here um, and I've just tabbed and what I've done is I had in my kit some uh, well actually recently they're they're new to my stash sorry not my kit um, because I purchased through Facebook um, selling page um, some bits and pieces and these hinges were um, stickers a sheet a whole sheet of sticker sh um, hinges um, and what I've done is I've just used the smaller can you see those there the smaller pearl uh, flat backed pearls black pearls to use as the studs to the hinges so you open it like a door and you've got room for journaling on, on both sides and here's a beautiful large um, tab tag in one of the it's the add-on kit and again I've used it like a belly band to so just glue top and bottom which enables me to tuck things underneath and I have some craft paper toily and I have this journaling card here <coughs> which I've just folded in half so they oh, let's put that in first that's quite delicate so gentle with that one and then the journaling card and they will slide lovely in there that's the age side of the invoice the vintage invoice the music paper the paper from my stash and on this side I've folded it over to create a pocket and inside the pocket here I have an envelope which I've just um, collaged a little bit and a tag with a pocket so it's holding um, a stamp from the uh, fussy cut kit and a tag so they will fit in that pocket like so and you can journal on the back I think this one I've made it yeah no and the envelope so they will go in there nicely like that and here I have a pocket again embellished up with that beautiful fussy cut rose bit of lace trim and I have tucked in one of their very long tags the images are so lovely you don't have to do very much to them which is like I said I just wanted something relatively easy for me to do because I've been feeling a bit under the weather so here 
one of those birds. This is a different page to the one you saw before. They've got a couple of bird pages in the kit. As you can see, one's facing one way, one's facing the other way. They are slightly different. And I've made a pocket here with one of the pages and inside the pocket I have cut out the journaling card to stick on some book page so some vintage book paper um, one of the butterfly journal cards on the front and you can see the vintage book page there and then here I've just stuck on some um, tea stain paper collaged it up put a butterfly there and again the book page is on the back so you can do some journaling on that one on this side I have um, an original vintage envelope from 1932 um, I don't, oh, this way can you see uh, no it says 1932 on there <coughs> and if we open the envelope out inside we have one of those photographs and here again I've used that heat tape as um, aged sellotape there and down here is a pocket and I've just stuck the envelope there which allows me to have this still open so that I can slide a ticket in and out of the pocket behind and here um, we have some scrapbooking paper again I think this is Prima and I've just stuck on one of those beautiful typewriters and some peachy seam binding and this is paper from my stash <coughs> so there you go on there oh I'll do that in a minute on this side um, this has been cut out the rose has been cut out from one of the journal pages and what I've done is I've stuck it onto the background journal page here but I've left this top half unstuck so I've backed it to make it more sturdy and then it has allowed me to use it as a slide like a tuck and inside there I've put three of the smaller tags all um, tea stained back, paper on the back ready to be journaled on so yes that's um a nifty idea just using it as a tuck spot so i've literally backed backed the rose before sticking it onto the background paper and i've just glued this bottom half here and that little bud there but not the top half of the rose and then i've just been able to use it as a tuck <coughs> so some of that um embroidery anglaise there which is the same as the closure <coughs> excuse me and the background page which I've stamped a little bit we have a pocket here which I've collaged up and inside the pocket I've torn the background paper so that I can put some of that aged tape on and I have a journaling card here and another journaling card this one's from my own stash and it just went well with the kit <coughs> oops we're sliding around here now and I have one of those um, little heart um, paper clips there to hold that together because on this side if we take the paper clip off a moment I have again some of those photographs which I've made into pockets um, and inside her I've got these two journaling cards here and inside the gentleman I've got these two journaling cards here and then um, I've just stuck them so a little bit it, 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 I had to think about it a little bit of thought because I stuck her down where I wanted her to be but left the opening for the journal cards and then I had to be careful here when sticking him down because I wanted the opening there but also I had to make sure that I still had room to get these journaling cards in there and I've um, <coughs> put a butterfly here at the top <coughs> excuse me and added some more of that lace trim down the bottom and the reason why I took the paper clip off was because this is a flip up so you've got room to journal on the actual page background the tea stain but also on the back 
of the flip up. Um, so yep, yeah, that just I'll just push that journaling card in a bit um, because then this keeps it nice and tight. There we go. <clears throat> um, some journaling space here, and I've just done some stamping as you can see and the tea stain paper here and this time I've added a pocket um, this is in the kit the add-on kit and I've made two journaling cards that one's from the kit that one is from my own stash oh that one's been backed using vintage ledger paper there we go a bit more stamping and that lovely lined page and the plain page and then on the back page here I've made two pockets with side pockets and in each one there is a tag that one is of the telephone and I've backed that one and it's got some of that lovely sage seam binding as the tie and there's that one the birds backed again and it slides in that pocket there and then the end of that beautiful beautiful image of the pair of birds and the lace on the spine there so yes that's my latest one using my porch prints um, sepia and ivory collection um, what I'll do is I'll link um, them below where you can purchase it from on the Etsy and I really hope you've enjoyed um, being with me and having a little walkthrough um, I'm now going to be moving on to the C word Chris da, 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 um, with Rachel Bella Crafts they are having a collaboration throughout November two people every day two creators every day will be offering a little tutorial on their YouTube channels um, and we are going to make them as short as we can so hopefully no longer than about half an hour so that you get chance to um, watch both and not feel quite so overwhelmed so I hope you're going to join in um, Rachel and Bella have the kits I believe at a reduced price at the moment over on their Kofi site and their website I shall link those down below as well in case you want to have them printed off ready to join in and that kicks off next week on the 1st of November exciting I hope my um, voice will be back to normal by then thank you for joining me today and I shall see you soon bye